Hi, I'm Kiff Scholl, and today I'm going to teach you how to play my new strategy game, Dogville. Dogville is a tableau building worker placement game for one to four players, ages 10 and up. Lay out the board in the center of the table with the kennel and job board beside it. Give each player a backyard, the four matching doggy maples, the joy track marker, and kennel credit marker. Also give each player four energy markers. Shuffle the event bonus cards and deal a hand of four to each player. Shuffle the dog cards and deal each player two. Place eight dog cards face up onto the kennel board, one per space. Separate the career cards into two categories, standard and advanced. Shuffle each deck and place them on the job board where indicated. Then draw and place standard cards face up on career card options one through three. Cards will be flipped at the beginning of the corresponding round. Separate the activity cards by stretch, first stretch, second stretch, and third stretch, and shuffle each of the three decks, then place face down one first stretch card from the deck onto the three available first stretch spaces, one through three. Then place the second stretch activity cards onto the corresponding four through six, and the third stretch cards onto the spaces seven through nine. Players should take two food tokens each and place the kennel credit marker on the seven space at the base of your backyard. Pay for the adopted dog by paying the kennel credit cost. Return the dog you didn't choose to the dog card deck. Place the joy track markers that match the player's dog tokens on the five on the joy track, except for first player, which starts on four. Select one of each of the three skill tokens and randomly place one on each road trip space. Road trip one, Road Trip 2, and Road Trip 3. During each road trip, this token will determine the random skill reward. More on that later. Stack the bonus discs, Extra, Jump, Cuddle, Doggy Bag, and Fixed on the board. Early strategy tip. Whoever adopts a dog with a name starting closest to A should take the starter token and go first. Each player should consider the potential rewards of each of their event bonus cards before choosing which dog to add to their pack. Event bonus cards are broken down into two categories, events and bonus. Three of the four event bonus cards dealt to each player will be triggered as events during road trips and will affect all players. But the remaining fourth card is used as a bonus card, which only applies to the player holding it. Gameplay. The game is played over three stretches. Get it? Stretches. Each consisting of three rounds and followed by a road trip. So let's play. If it's not your first turn, the first step of phase one is to return your dog's tokens to their respective cards in your backyard. This is a good time to bark or howl. If it is your first turn, flip over the activity card on flagstone one, flip over the first three career cards on the job board, and add a food to morning howl. Phase two. Now I'll get into a little more detail. Actions. On each round, you can adopt a dog or place a dog token. If you cannot do either, you must pass. Two dogs are adopted in the first stretch, one dog is adopted in the second, and a fourth dog is adopted in the third stretch. You can adopt a new dog from the kennel board by paying the adoption fee of the dog you wish to adopt, placing the card into your backyard, and placing an energy marker on the highest energy level of the dog. Then activate the dog with its own dog token, then replace the dog card on the kennel board from the dog card deck. You may, however, adopt dogs in later rounds or stretches if you choose. Next, place. This is the main part of the game. Players take turns in clockwise turn order, placing their dog meeples on the various activity spaces, more than one dog in some instances. You can place any adopted dog's token onto any available flagstone. You can also place it on a building in the town or on a Dogville park space in the country. Then pay the claim cost at the bottom left of the activity card or as indicated on the available cards on the job board. Then gain the reward indicated, including adding kennel credits on the kennel credit track. Note, 
When a dog runs out of energy, slide the energy marker into the water bowl at the bottom left of the dog card. This is as low as your dog's energy can go. Special activity spaces. Only one dog can occupy an activity space unless there's an infinity symbol. In some instances, there's no additional cost to share the space. In others, like the job center and training camp, subsequent visitors will have to pay one additional food. With a few exceptions, like using the cuddle token or the nanny career. The big and small dog parks are to restore your dog's energy, but both require a dog to have a little energy remaining. If your dogs have no energy left, they can always nap in the dog bed in your backyard or visit the Dogville Vet. Sending a dog to the Dogville Vet will give your rescue dog a fixed token and restore their energy to full. The fixed token is worth three joy at the end of the game and is necessary to activate any fixed dog rewards in the black bar at the bottom of rescue dog cards. You can choose to fix a purebred dog. However, they won't be eligible for breeding in the third stretch. Morning Howl. Place one dog token on this space and take all of the accumulated food and the starter token. You will be first player until it's taken away from you. There is no cost, but only one dog is permitted per round. Doggy Daycare. Take three food. There's no cost and unlimited tokens are permitted. Chase. Place one dog token on this space and gain one kennel credit. Place two dog tokens at a time and gain three. Place three dog tokens at a time and gain five. Fetch. Pay one energy and gain the bonus disc that corresponds to your dog's skill level. Dogs with five intelligence gain an extra disc. Dogs with five speed gain a jump disc. Dogs with five charm gain a cuddle disc. Now let's go into a little detail about the bonus discs. Cuddle. With a cuddle disc, your dog token can share an already occupied activity card or space once. Well, except morning howl. Only one cuddle disc can be used per player per round. Extra. Assign it to any dog to permanently increase their maximum energy by one. Maximum two per dog. Fixed. Visit Dogville Vet, place the fixed disc on the bottom left of the dog card, and restore the dog's energy to full. Jump. A dog from your pack may take another turn, once per player per round. Doggy bag. Assign it to any dog in your pack to feed them on one road trip. Note. Doggy bags are only available on some first stretch cards or purchased with kennel credits. Purchase bonus discs with kennel credits carefully since they are the only way to adopt dogs. But if you have leftover credits, they can be used to purchase bonus discs according to the chart at the bottom of your backyard. Extra and fixed discs are the only discs immediately assigned to a dog card. Return all other bonus discs after use. Career Cards Your dogs can pursue both standard and advanced careers, and both categories have playable and non-playable versions. Playable careers, with an orange corner, are essentially additional activity spaces for the dog with that career. Non-playable careers instead enhance activity spaces on the game board for that dog. Training Camp Gain a skill token for intelligence, speed, or charm for the dog that visits. This increases that dog's skill permanently by one. Pass your turn. If you can't adopt any more dogs or play any more dog tokens, you must pass. Once everyone has passed, return to phase one, or if the end of round three, six, or nine, beach, mountain, then city, it's time for a road trip. First thing we do on a road trip is evaluate the random skill reward. All dogs with the highest number, six or above, in that skill gains either five joy on the first road trip, four joy on the second road trip, and four joy on the third road trip. Event cards. Each player then contributes one event bonus card of the four dealt to each player at the beginning of the game, face down. Combine them, shuffle them, and reveal them one at a time. Each event card affects all players. Supper time. Pay food for your pack according to the maintenance food cost listed on each dog. One joy must be traded for one food to make up for any deficit. And be warned, your joy level can drop below zero. And then, at the end of each road trip, each player gets three kennel credits. 
and all three first stretch cards should be replaced from the deck face up. End of game. Time to tally all of your end of game joy points, including three joy for every fixed token, one joy for every skill token, seven and up, two joy for every standard career, and four joy for every advanced. And add in all of your fulfilled fixed token rewards at the bottom of fixed rescue dogs. And finally, evaluate your personal end of game bonus on your remaining event bonus card. Remember, this applies to the card holder only. Whoever has the most joy at the end of the game is declared top dog. <laughs>